Hi, this is Pat Love with Pat's Two Cents. I know you heard the message yesterday dealing with why we should not um, be so pleasing, be so cooperative when we're really supposed to speak up. Well, let me share something with you. I've told this story a couple of years ago, but I think it, it yeah, it warrants repeating. Listen. There was a house. There were guests in the house. And the host was a man, his wife, and his daughter. Now, let me share why we need to speak up. This woman was standing in the doorway. And they could tell she was petrified by the man, totally controlled, under his control, totally intimidated, just all her fight just beaten out of her. You could see it. Now, this is not my story. I'm telling someone else's story. So what ended up happening is the man ordered the daughter to get him a beer from the refrigerator. She is maneuvering on crutches with a cast on her leg from foot up to above her knee. Now she's got to carry the beer and work herself on two crutches. So that means she's got to double up on one hand with the two crutches and carry the beer to get it to him. I mean, think about how ridiculous this is. She takes too long because she's trying not to fall. He gets angry and decides he's going to make an example of her. So he gets up, fusses at her, says a few choice cuss words and kicks, grabs the beer out of her hand and kicks the crutches out of her other side and down she goes. And then he kicks her and tells her to get the you know what up. The mother is standing in the doorway watching. She's frozen with fear. She will not go to her daughter's rescue. She dare not because she knows what's going on, what will happen to her. Okay. The guests are a combination of male and females. They're sitting there. And it has to be about five or six people. Not, check, this is unbelievable to me. Not one person did a thing said a word, or even bothered to report it to the authorities. I can't believe how chicken people are when it comes to reporting abuse like that. What would you have done? Don't answer too quickly. You know how peer pressure gets to us. We want to do what's right in the sight of the Lord, but we also want to be a people pleaser now, don't we? We don't want to rock the boat, don't rock the boat, baby. Rock the boat, don't tip the boat over. Oh, no. Ah. See, that's where I need God to help me because I get very angry when I hear about people being hurt for no reason at that. And then there are people sitting around, eyewitnesses. Not one of them thought when they left the house to write down the address, write down the street, and call anonymously if necessary and say, this is what's going on. This is what I observed. And I want you to check it out. Okay. I have ranted. I have raved. And I hope that you... Do the same when you get the opportunity to report it. 
they better be happy I wasn't there because I would have walked out in the middle of whatever he was doing. I would have written down the address. The cops would have been there while I'm standing there. And I would have told them exactly what I saw. And had I a cell phone, oh yeah, that bad boy would have been all on camera. Secretly, but it would have been on camera as evidence. What would you have done?